YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy MBM, and I am him. Today, I got something special for you. Pro Tools Wave 2023 template. You're gonna get some good recording with it, trust me. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button, tap that bell notification, that'll keep you in tune with the latest content I drop. Make sure you help with that YouTube algorithm to get this channel growing and going. If you find that this template is helping you, man, and it's doing good, do me a favor, let me know. And man, send me a song you recorded to it. I just wanna know. Now, I'm not gonna say this template gonna make you sound like this person, I sound like that person, but I do know this. You gonna sound like you. That's all you need to sound like. Also, if you're looking to purchase beats, check out my son, Lousy. The link will be in the description to his page. Go hear him out. Super dope beats. Without further ado, let's tap into this tutorial. Super short, not long. Let's get it. All right, y'all, man. So this is what we doing. All right, cool, man. So this is the template. Um, I'm gonna give you a, a little bit of quick of a rundown. And then after that, you guys can do your thing you want to do. And then you can change some things if you want to change it. So... Starting off, I started you off with the uh, EV2. So pretty much with this, like I said, I'm just knocking out a little room noise, but you don't have to use this one. You can use the actual regular SSL one, but what I do like about this one is the, um, <clears throat> the, 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 the mic. Uh, well, man, just had a brain fog, dude. Um, The actual preamp you can use for this right here, I do like this. Um, I don't really use this unless I'm actually recording it in. I don't use it just regularly like this. I may set it up to record it in, but I like to change things, so I really don't print tracks anymore. I like to, it's certain, sometimes I may want to change it like with uh, auto-tune or anything like that. I may not I may not like the way my auto-tune is sounding, so I may want to change some things around. So yeah, I got this plugin for you right here, and then I got the EmoQ. This is just pretty much giving you a little bit of EQ cleaning, some cutting. Um, that's it with that part. Super simple. Um, like I said, you can always adjust. These uh, templates are just like a start pattern for you. So that way you can't get a good recording. So you guys will be pretty much, you know, able to get a good song going, man. And um, like I said, these, these templates really, really help, man. Especially the ones I create because I really take my time because I really want to get good results and I want to hear how you guys sound. Um, and then I did the R comp. I did push the R comp a little bit, but we got a parallel compressor with this, so therefore I didn't push it too hard. But it's just enough. I'm gonna let you guys hear it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna cut it on and talk through it and stuff like that. But like I said, it's not a template created for you to sound like someone because you can sound like anybody. But it's just up to you. You know what I mean? To sound like yourself, though. So man. And then from there, I got the VEQ to add just a little bit of uh top end to it so you guys will get a good uh frequency there so right now i got you at like 1.5 but then for the lead ones i did boost you up a little bit so you can use this if it's too much for you just dial it back a little bit you know what i'm saying but um i'm going according to the sm7b and the ksm32 the ksm28 i think that's the 28 i got and um a couple other mics i have so they all sound good with uh this template i do go through all the mics that i have to just make sure everything is level right and um and then i like i said i threw you guys a ds or i got it on the male ds so if it's too much dsing remember you can dial it back if it's too much and then we got the wave time real tune which i, I really love this like man like i use this more than i use auto tune i'm not gonna even lie to you um like you can't adjust it if your song is a d natural minor then you can do d natural minor if it's d sharp you can just hit the sharp boom and you're good to go from there. With your correction, if you want to take it to 80, you can take it to 80, depends on how you're trying to do your auto-tune. So from there, I also added a limiter, but if the limiter is too much for you, don't use it, because remember I said record at negative 12 dB, so you're able to give yourself some space when using these plugins. And um, I know I may just be talking, and then I threw you guys the CLA Epic Reverb. You know, man, let's just, uh, let me turn the actual, um, let me turn off my uh, mixer, my mixer mic, and then I'll actually activate one of these. Yo. Okay. And then I got to make sure that it is saying something. Okay. We good to go. All right. <clears throat> so this is pretty much how your template going to be sounding. You know, she got a hold on me. Now that's how my she put a hold on me. She got a hold on me. You know what I mean? So you gonna sound dope, man, because also what I did was, hold on. Yo, so um, pretty much, wait a minute. I meant to deactivate it. All right, there we go. 
So, um, like I said, the parallel compression is what's really going to be making this auto-tune sound real good, man. And um, you can crush it a little more if you want. You know what I'm saying? Crush it. Because it's not doing too much. It is adding some good compression to it. Man, it's super dope, man. A great template for you to uh, start off with. And you're good to go, man. And you got your auto-tune on here, man. And um, this is for seasoned vets, new beginners or whatever. And uh, oh, also what I did too was, let me hit that. Also what I did was is I added a CLA 2A as a bus compressor. So I didn't push it much. I did, each one of them is like around negative 30. So it's just a tad bit. With me, I like to hit around with this one. I like to hit around negative 1 dB or 2 dB. So if you got your beat going and you got your music going and your vocals is going and you see you, you hitting a little bit of too much compression, just go over to the bus compressor. Pay attention to this. If this meter is going past 2, you want to dial the uh, peak reduction back a little bit and just dial. The gain is already set to 30. Leave the gain alone. Just dial the peak reduction back a little bit so that way we can uh, tend to get rid, of a bit, get, get rid of a little bit of compression. We don't want to squash the song. But we just want to add a little bus compression to it to add a little more headroom so when you get ready to master your song. And, um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. I, I got you guys covered, like I said, man. And um, this is a free template for me to you. I hope you guys enjoy it, have fun with it. It's super dope, man. It sounds super good just by me talking through it right now. I'm loving it. And, um, yeah, man, download it, man. It's free. Have fun with it. It's your boy, Mixed by Malachi. Thank y'all for tuning in, man, and watching. Remember, be yourself, man. You can be great. Create your own music, drive in your own lane, and people will notice you a lot faster. So it's your boy, MBM. Hey, much love. Y'all take care, and I am out.